I want to start by addressing the situation that's unfolding south of the border, which is also having an impact here at home. For far too many Canadians, the images and stories coming out of the U.S. are all too familiar. As a country, we can't pretend that racism doesn't exist here. Anti-black racism is real. Unconscious bias is real. And systemic discrimination is real. And they happen here in Canada. Over the weekend, we saw thousands of people gather across the country to join peaceful protests against anti-black racism. By standing together and denouncing the few who would try to derail these demonstrations, Canadians are sending the message that they will never tolerate injustice. To young black Canadians, I hear you when you say you are anxious and angry, when you say that this brings back painful experiences of racism that you've faced. I want you to know that I'm listening and that your government will always stand with you. Together, we will keep taking meaningful action to fight racism and discrimination in every form. The status quo, where people face violence because of the color of their skin, is unacceptable. No parent should have to once again explain to their kids that they or their friends might face racism. It is time, it is past time, for this to change. As leaders and allies, we must do the hard work needed to listen and learn. We must ensure that everyone is safe and respected. That includes journalists who need to be able to do their work on the front lines to explo expose the truth and tell the stories we need to hear. And we must, as Canadians, always keep working together to build a fairer, better, more equitable country for all.